Good day, everyone, and welcome to my Tarot Corner. My name is Yu, and today I wanted to check uh, something uh, about uh, Harry and Meghan, of course, and how do they uh, did they uh, receive the fact that they were so mocked and ridiculed in the Emmy Awards? And I'm just trying to... Uh, change a little bit the uh, the 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 angle here so you can see more of the uh, actual um, desk I have more of the corner okay and um, so this this tarot deck is called Heaven and Earth, and it has a kind of a, 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 a dark vibe, and that's why I thought it was um, uh, good to uh, use it for this, because I think that they have kind of, of dark uh, thoughts about being so mocked and ridiculed. And this is what I wanted to check today. And um, I just wanted to explain why I'm changing my uh, decks all the time. I have many, many, many decks. I know of others, other tarot readers that have even more. And um, I have two ways of reading the card. I have the psychological meaning, which is something that doesn't change. And then there is this um, way, um, uh, way of reading that is more of um, um, when you see the picture and uh, the vibe that you get from the picture itself. And that's why I'm changing the uh, the 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 decks every time because I want to get uh, the different vibes that I get uh, from the uh, uh, from the cards. Uh, I don't do that when I'm uh, doing tarot readers for clients because then uh, the most important thing for me is the psychological uh, meaning that helps uh, actually helps people to get to a better place. But here I'm not treating Harry and Meghan, so I can do whatever I want. Okay, so first I'm going to shuffle the cards as usual, and then I'm going to take five cards and see what we get. So, first we clean the cards, and now I'm going to ask the question. How do Harry and Meghan feel being mocked and ridiculed in the Emmy Awards? How do they feel being mocked and ridiculed in the Emmy Awards? How do they feel being mocked and ridiculed <clears throat> in the Emmy Awards? I have a tendency to ask every question three times. I don't know why. This is something that is that is a habit of mine. And I'm cutting the cards, and now I'm going to take cards. Okay, so our first card is the Knight of Wands. Now here, the Knight of Wands is on fire. Okay, so... Although this knight is usually the knight that is the aloof knight, the one that is not uh, is not uh, is looking to be uh, ignited, is looking for uh, uh, the thing that will ignite him. Here we see him completely in fi on fire. So uh, I can say that they are on fire they are so so mad they just they, they're just on fire and this is why it is so important to change sometimes the uh, the um, uh, decks that you use because this is uh, this is not the psychological uh, interpretation of the card but this is something that i'm getting from the card just because of watching the uh, the, the the photograph so uh, I get that they are on fire right now, and uh, 
The second card is the Wheel of Fortune, and the Wheel of Fortune speaks about taking your own uh, destiny uh, into your own hands and not uh, um, not letting the, the destiny rule you, but really uh, uh, rule yourself or um, uh, rule your own life. But it is also means that the change, if you want change, the change has to begin from the inside. If the change doesn't get, begin in the inside, the outer uh, the outer uh, uh, circle will not move either. So uh, this is a this is a card that means there is a need for change. They understand that there is a need for change, and uh, they um, they are thinking about it. They are thinking about how they can change things so they can become more popular because. Uh, what this Emmy showed is that they are not popular, not at all popular, not even in America, uh, which is something that I saw yesterday that uh, they are still that there are still people that are claiming that they are popular in America, although in England they are not popular at all, and um, but they are not. So this Emmy Award showed that they need change and they need to think about how they change things. Okay, our th next card is the Seven of Cups. Now, many people look at the Seven of Cups and say this is a gaslighting card. Uh, uh, this is a card of uh, many, uh, many options. And it is a card of many options. It is also a card of a dream, a, a dream that they want and they feel that it has to come true. But this is only a dream. And if they don't do anything in order to fulfill this dream, it will never come true. This dream, in order to make it come true, they have to leave their own comfort zone. And if they don't do that, they will never fulfill the dream. So, and this is the the most uh, the central card in this reading, and um, uh, the central card here is just uh, very important, and um, uh, it also uh, means that they are fantasizing. They ha they have the tendency to fantasize, so they are full of fantasies. They think they know how to operate. They think that they can fulfill their dream, but if they don't leave their comfort zone, they will never, never uh, fulfill their dream. Next card. Next card is the Four of Swords. Sword of, Four of Swords is a card that says, decide not to decide. So, and, so this card is the card of someone who is just uh, resting right now, he doesn't want or they don't want to decide on either way of operating right now. Uh, they're thinking about it, thinking about things. Uh, it's indecision, it's also illness. They could really feel sick to their stomach by the way they were ridiculed. And I'm sure that it is an actual uh, uh, physical feeling when you are so, so ridiculed so, so uh, badly, it is an actual feeling that you're sick. And this is what this card means. And the last card is the Princess of Pentacles, which means the, the, it is like the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles, we call him the Clerk. Someone who needs stability, someone who needs that that's the archetype of this uh, of the of this uh, page. Uh, he needs uh, 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 he needs uh, stable work. Uh, he usually goes with the flow uh, <clears throat> but uh, it is also someone who is a coward. Uh, he is reluctant. To change and we know that they need a change if they don't do that change they will never succeed so what do we have is the underlying energy and the underlying energy is the high priestess so what could be more 
uh, telling them this. High Priestess is the card of mystery, is the card of secrets, it's the card of going inside and uh, uh, going inside to uh, um, the places that you don't want to go. Uh, it is the fear of life, it is the fear of changes, and this whole uh, uh, reading is about change and the, fear, the need for a change, but they are afraid of this change. They don't know how to do it. And this card tells them they need to do, to do some kind of a therapy, of course, but they speak that as though they are experts on mental health, but they know nothing of mental health. Okay, so this was one, the first uh, uh, reading I wanted to do. The second reading I wanted to do was regarding uh, Harry's boss. Did Harry's boss uh, put them in the 100 uh, list of influential people? We know that he has uh, uh, some kind of... Uh, um, shares in the Time magazine. So did Harry Boss put them in the 900, in the ones, I'm sorry, 100 influential people? And st first I'm just going to clear the cards. And I'm going to ask, did Harry's boss put Harry and Megan in the 100 influential people list. Did Harry's boss put the Harpos in the 100 influential people list? Did Harry's boss put them on the 100 influential list? Okay, we'll take just three cards for this one. And let's see what we get. So, this is the answer, and the answer is, okay, uh, the five of wands. Okay, so I, I, I would say the answer is yes. The five of wands, uh, although what we see here is uh, uh, the, just the ones uh, on fire, uh, it is also uh, being um, successful by getting help, help from the side. And uh, for me, this means that they got on that list because someone helped them. And that could be the boss. I was asking about his boss and that's what I got. And if we see the cards on the side, so here we have the sun, and here we have the uh, card of um, six of cups, which means second chance. So they thought that this was their second chance of succeeding, uh, their second chance of being happy. The sun is the happy card, the, and they got everything just because the boss, someone helped them. Someone put them on that list. I'm going to use uh, <clears throat> an oracle that is called Everyday Oracle. It is very much, very much like the uh, 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 other oracles I used before, uh, the Sibila Indova, and the uh, very, very, very similar to the uh, um, to the. Um, uh, keeper cards, and I'm going to take a few cards and see what is the next move. So, what is the next move? What is Harry and Megan's next move? What is Harry and Megan's next move? Now, these cards are not in English, so I will need the booklet to see exactly if I don't understand what it means. So our first card is 
Okay, this is La Superbia. Let's see what it means. Number 69. Okay. That is... Um, well, it's the peacock. We see it's the peacock, and peacock is someone that is very, uh, very. Um, just one more. Okay, sorry about that. So <clears throat> this means haughtiness, vanity. Arrogance. We know that the peacock is vanity, is uh, arrogant, and so they are still very much arrogant. They still think that they can uh, uh, win. The next card is the home, their home, their casa, and uh, of course the, their home is very important to them. And uh, uh, this is something that is also very. Uh, something that they mean to uh, stay in their home next card is the happiness card so they are happy they have no uh, no uh, uh, problem of uh, uh, having uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, feast okay but what is the underlying energy and the underlying energy is the woman okay and the woman the 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 mother so this is how uh, megan wants to be seen as the mother and i have a feeling that they are going to try and use their children in order to get their clout back so I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.